Enjoy this week. Next week has the potential to be dramatically different. Webcams at KSBY.com. Always a great way to check out conditions before you head out to the beach. And with our partnership with Surfline, you get the surf forecast, water temperature as well to keep you safe if you plan to get in the water. Today's highs, again, let's jump right on those. 72 Santa Maria, 75 San Luis Obispo. That's 10 degrees above average. Paso Robles, 76, also 11 degrees above average. Santa Barbara, 79 today. So we didn't get records, but got some really, really warm temperatures across the board. Morro Bay, 62 on the cooler side. Let's check out current conditions. We're off the peaks a little bit. 68 in Paso and 67 in Atascadero, 59 San Simeon, 55 Forest and Pismo, 59 Los Osos, 66 Santanez, 58 Santa Barbara, 66 Golita, 65 in Gaviota. The winds have really calmed down, fairly light onshore winds. They'll go offshore again tonight. Not particularly strong, but strong enough to fire up another really warm day tomorrow with daytime highs in the 70s for many. We'll tail off temperature wise into Friday as more high clouds increase. This is our system from the weekend. It's now on the Texas, New Mexico border. And again, the deep south, severe weather. Uh, we had a tornado in uh, Nashville that did quite a bit of damage, a lot of fatalities, more than two dozen fatalities there. Well, the activity this afternoon, this evening is not as energetic as it was last night. High pressure right now in control, but we are watching what's happening in the Gulf of Alaska because it is the story of next week. Watch what happens up here. You can see low pressure starting to spin up, dropping down out of the Gulf of Alaska. So that's one part, the deep low pressure. Here's the other part that really is interesting about next week. We haven't seen the connection between deep low pressure and a run up of southwesterly winds. This is subtropical moisture supply and low pressure. If that all comes together, as models suggest they could, could be very rainy for three or four straight days. In fact, showers could start as early as Saturday, but I'm talking about Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week could be very wet. And this is what models think about that potential. Again, into the weekend, Saturday, a few showers here and there, less than a quarter of an inch. Sunday, again, really light showers, not much to really write home about, but on Monday, now, cumulatively, we're looking at anywhere between three quarters of an inch and three inches of rain. And if we want to add the rest of the week, look at these numbers. This is incredible. Next week, we could see as much as four, five, six, seven inches of rain. Again, these are model projections. They have varied quite a bit, but models all have the same general viewpoint that next week looks to be active. And this is something that actually showed up about a month ago on climate models and it keeps verifying. So I would say that the details have low to medium confidence, but the higher confidence is in the general pattern shift. So what am I saying? Watch these forecasts, especially as we get toward the weekend and into next week. They'll get more and more detailed about what could be soaking rainfall next week. But again, we're days from that, really nice days. In fact, to close this work week, we're looking at temperatures slowly fading from these numbers, low to mid 70s and some upper 60s, down into the mid 60s by Friday. So just a kind of a gentle pattern change into what's going to be dramatically feeling different type weather next week. So there you can see the increase in cloud cover, but again, still really mild as we close the work week in both Santa Barbara and San Luis Obispo County. But again, look at how those temperatures drop off over the weekend. This is again, not a washout for the weekend, but it's going to feel like the winter we never had.